Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video for HTML course for beginners from basic to advanced. In our previous videos, we have seen many tags, attributes of HTML, but today we are going to see the very, very, very important topic of HTML that is the forms. What are these forms? You might have seen the forms in every particular website, in every particular, or in any of the online softwares you can see anywhere in the computer or in your phones everywhere you will come across the forms what are these forms these are the simple inputs that are taken from the user to your back support with the help of these informations itself the other processes are done for that particular site or for particular requirement that the user gives to the application so basically what are all the fields that are present in a form so in the form, there will be present the name field. You can see the password field, the first name. In the name also, there will be some first name and there will be some last name fields, right? And then there will be password, date of birth. You can see mobile number. Your genders can be present there. Or if it is an admission form for the schools or colleges or any institutions and other thing, they may ask you your graduation marks like of which school you are graduated what are the percentage that you have graduated from that particular school which university you have graduated from if it is a post graduation form or anything like this multiple fields will be present right so in those fields itself there are some things here you can see there may be check boxes there will be password fields there may be radio boxes select boxes file select boxes custom buttons will be there and at last there will be one submit button and there will be a re reset button so these are the values that you can give for the fields that are present here apart from the text inputs then next there are certain attributes also which we are going to see in the later section of the video and the main two tags that are there in our form are input tag and the text area tag so what are these two tags the first tag that is there, this is called as a single line input tag. Whereas this text area that is there, this is called as a multi line input tag. So what does it encounter? What does it mean by multi line input tag? So in some places where you will be having your forms like this, at the end, there will be another box with the name comment. Or if you are uh, giving certain complaint, then you can you will be having a, a box stating, uh, can we know your problem in brief? So in order to add these kind of boxes, we are going to use a text area, which will be multiple line inputs, right? So these are the two tags that you have. So what is the definition of this form? A form will take input from the site visitor and then will post it to the back end of the application. So this is the basic idea of a form. Now let us see how we can write a particular form in our Visual Studio code, like how you can create a particular form. Okay, we have a Visual Studio code, plus we also do have our preview tab here, basic HTML5, done. Now in this body tag, inside this body tag, I'll be creating one thing called as the form tag. So inside this form tag, you can create your form now. So one a more tag that is there, which is called as the label tag. So this label tag is used to give the label. So first I'm just going to give here as first. So here you can add the first name of that particular person. Just be giving here like this. And now here in the next line, I'm going to use the input tag. In this for this input tag, you have the attributes here that is type, max length, size, name, and value. So please remember these five attributes which will be useful for us in creating one particular form so first we are going to use the type then max length i'll show you then size name and then the value let's continue now first let us see the type now what is the type that i'm going to give here the type can be telephone number it can be the text and it can be the time so first let us see about the text so it is the text i want so it is going to give you the text field here so this is how you can add one text field for your form. Now, whatever I'm going to write here, like see, for example, beyond trainer. This is how I have written beyond trainer. In this beyond trainer itself, if I want to add certain maximum length, see, for example, the first name cannot be, cannot exceed maximum length of 10. So for that, I have an attribute called as max length attribute. 
where I am going to give a 10. So once when I save it, it is not going to exceed 10 characters. Now just check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It is going to count the space as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Even I'm typing, even I'm pressing the I letter, it is not taking the I letter. Why? Because we have given the max length as a 10. So this is the max length. Now let us see the size attribute. Once when I give you the size attribute, now we can see 20. I'll enter. Save it. Let me give it as 50. Can you see that when I have given the size as a 50, it is just increasing the text box. It, is, it does not matter whatever the max length is, but it does matter is the size of that particular text box. If you can see, I'll just change it to 20. Now, can you see that the max length size? Okay, it is 20. The size is being changed. If I am going to give 2, so you can see that it is just a small text box that is there, but it is going to take all the 10 letters that I have added. Even if I'm going to add it, it's not going to take. So whatever size you want for your text box, it can specify the same size here. So this is the size attribute. The next attribute is the value attribute. What is the meaning of this value? Value means that value will already be present here in this field itself. Now, for example, if I have to give here as beyond trainer, so whenever you are and here the max length doesn't count because the value will already be present here. Whenever you are going to load your form, the value will always be present at the start. If you want to change that value, then you just have to delete it and then you need to add and now it is going to take the max length value. But whenever you are going to add certain value before itself, then it is not going to count that particular value. Now, again, see here, if I'm just going to refresh it, you can see the beyond trainer is already present there. So this is the value attribute. Next attribute, one of the very, very, very important attribute, just like the value attribute is the placeholder attribute. Now you can see that even when I'm going to click here, Whenever it is the value, we have to delete the value. And also you can see that for the value, it is dark in color. Now, if I'm just going to delete this value from here, and if I'm going to add the placeholder, write your first name. So if I have given here, write your first name. Now you can see that it is light gray in color. Plus, whenever I'm going to add on it or whenever I'm going to start writing the name, it is just going to vanish itself. So this is how you can add your placeholder. So these placeholders, these are the things that are going to tell you what has to be written inside that particular field. So this is how you can write the placeholders. So it is a type, max length, size, placeholder and one more was there that is called as the name tag. Now what name attribute? What is this name attribute going to do? Now, if you're going to give the name as EFN, with the help of this EFN, you can link your field to your backend. What happens? Usually, what happens whenever you're writing or whenever you're creating a website, always you will be having the front end. Think that this is your front end. Then you'll be having one back end program. And also you will be having database. So what happens here now? When you have this front end program, in this front end, there will be multiple of fields that will be present. That is the first name field, the last name field, and so on fields will be present. What happens? This front end should be linked with your back end. So that from the back end, whatever data you are passing from these fields, it will be moved to your back end. So if you are writing the name attribute as EFN, if you are writing the name attribute as EFN, the same with the help of this EFN, we are going to link here. So that EFN will be equal to first name. So it will be like this. Now this EFN, whatever value will be present here, that will be taken to the backend. And now this backend, it is going to give, it is going to give the data to the database. So inside this database, there will be certain 
tables inside this tables you will be having first name last name gender and other data tables would be present like this now whenever it is going to tell fn is equals to this fn now this fn is going to come and sit inside this fn place whenever if you have to take the first name or the last name from the database simply if you can use your fn attribute to fetch the data so that is easier to add the content inside a database or link the multiple files together so the name attribute is used to link the front end back end and the database together or else you can also say that the name attribute is used to link your front end content with your back end content so this is how you can add the first name next let us add in the same way the second the last name you can just directly add it like this as well last name and now here you can add your input tag type is equals to text type is equals to text placeholder i'll just add it as last name save it now you can see that it is not leaving the space so to add the or to leave the next line you have your br tag just use the br tag how many br tags you want i just want two br tags because it should neatly be visible so you have the first name and the last name and let's next let us add the password again a two brs i'll add here br1 and br2 and next i'll just add it as password so for this password now if i'm going to add the input type is equals to text all right now type equal to text and placeholder equal to password this is how we have it so now this password whenever i'm going to add the text the password is visible to everybody now i want in such a way that this password should not be visible to anybody except i should know what right so for that you have a type called as password itself this is the type you have now whenever you are going to add the password you will be having it in the star value so this is the password that you have so how you can write the password you can also add the max length for this password you can add the size you can have add placeholder you can add the name as well so all the attributes can be used for all the tags of your form so this was the password next let us add the telephone number or the mobile number you can say mobile number input type you can add can you see the tell here telephone and i'll just add two more break tags over here so that it is more beautiful now we can add the telephone number you can also add a placeholder and you can also add the value for this now you can use the value here inside this value you can give plus 91 if it is india okay and then you can continue with your number and just add one space here so that whenever you are going to type it is just going to follow that so this is how you can add the telephone number in your form next let us add next let us add the time t i m e time here inside this input type is equals to can you see how many types are there you also have the number instead of this tell you can also add the number there you can use date and time together you can use a time separately you can use date separately so we are going to use the date and time separately save it now you can see that you can add the time here you can add the time so this 12 28 so this is the time how you can use it now you also you can add the date so for that you have input type is equals to date you can also see date and time is there there is time local there are multiple values that you can use so you have this here 43223 next let us see the date and time together so it is here date plus time so both can be seen here i'll just be adding the br tags here so this is both the date and time next uh, we do have next you have the color picker if in case in your um you can say in your website if there is a color picker form 
then you can use this type color you can choose the color you can choose any of the colors that you want now i'll be choosing blue so this is the color how you can use the color picker in your website next we have how to choose a file choose file from your what do you mean from your desktop so how to choose the file input type is equals to file in order to choose the file choose the file click on choose the file it is going to show you from where you want to choose the file so if i'm going to choose the new folder here you can see everything that is there if i'm going to choose one it is going to show that you have chosen this particular file so this is how you can choose the file and drop it in your database of your particular website this is how you choose your resume and add it to that particular uh, website right so this is how you can do it or how you can add the choosing of your file at the time of date itself you can also choose the week which you want the month which you want the year which you want everything can be added here let me show just show you the month and the week month if i give input type equal to month you can see you can choose the month as well so you can see that it is july 2023 in the same way you do have it for the week as well so how you going to choose it for the week is just add the input tag type as equals to week this is how you can choose the week as well 8th week 9th week of the year like this 10th week 2023 of the 10th week 2023 so this is how you can choose a multiple contents for your input tag there are other things as well that is the radio button check box range field other fields are also there which we can add for our forms so those we are going to see in the next video this is all for today's video meet you again in the next video with some more contents of this input field to make the form a really very beautiful till then stay tuned and keep learning bye